Yo, what's going on, my boys? It's your man C Guy back again. Thanks for tuning into the channel. I like to explain to you guys essentially what's going on. Obviously, by the title, you can see we caught this sick ass cutty, but we did end up selling the Cadillac Brothers, so we no longer have the matching fleet or whatever. But we do got this. So this is an 85 Cutlass Supreme Brome, whatever it actually is, I don't really know. But it's got the 307 V8 in it. As you can see, it's got patterns. Uh, the whole car itself was repainted. Um, clearly on hydraulics. As you can see, we've got our ground wire here. Um, interiors all done in the white has the chrome moldings all the way around does indeed have a euro clip on the front end of it so i mean pretty clean boys pretty clean as you can see by our wheel setup here our tires we do be sitting her up on three you know going on a little trip but um yeah brothers so this is what it's looking like obviously got patterns on the hood got patterns up here on the roof we got the patterns on the side and the trunk so that's essentially what it is on the inside here so I mean I got this car and it does need some work you know but uh, for the most part it's pretty clean boys I'm pretty sure all this stuff has like been redone at some point but it does got a little stereo in it you know as you've seen it had these six by nines back here which is pretty gangster those have their own amplifier and uh it's also got the speakers on the dash itself that play music so that's cool right now we're rocking a six switch setup but it's currently front back corner corner and then those other two are nothing so that's cool i guess but like i said we do need some work done to old girl i'll go ahead and show you guys under the hood these are the parts that we have for it so let me go ahead and explain so our turn signal lever switch thingy is kind of jank have to remove the steering wheel so the previous owner included a steering wheel puller um i believe that is the switch itself that needs to be changed in the column it's got a new dipstick because the current dipstick the handle is broken off so the stick itself is just sitting in the bottom of the motor also to do with the motor it's our front crankshaft seal at least i think that's what this is it doesn't necessarily say but that's what he said it was and the two window motors which obviously we're going to be for the power windows there and there so now that we got the hood popped i'll go ahead and show you so the hood just raises up pretty simple um got a little bit of chrome you know some polished goodies or whatnot like I said it is a 307 it's got some cylinders up in this bad boy so I'm pretty sure these are like eights at least if not tens maybe they're pretty large looking it's got the chrome on the alternator um, got little things here and there uh, the HVAC has been deleted so no heater no air none of that got the chrome panels and like I said the cylinders once again uh, the valve cover also you know it's got some polished goodies or whatever it's been kind of stripped down obviously kind of like a show type vehicle so I mean it's not bad but like I said that front crankshaft seal is leaking so inside here there's just oil absolutely everywhere and then it's getting flung by the fan right after it leaks and our dipstick like i said is broke off so can't even check the oil or have any idea but um yeah so that gives a good view of our hood here and then on the hood itself i don't know if you'll be able to see it but within that right there it's got like the, the water mist you might be able to see it on the up on the roof yeah so you can see it's misted it's got some silver leaf on it pretty good stuff pretty good stuff you know what I mean here's the side looks pretty wicked got a little bit of flake um, on this portion of the blue which I don't really know why they only did it there 
but the whole car would look sick I mean it still looks killer you know this is the water droplets in the paint like I was telling you let me go ahead and show y'all the trunk boys so this is where the juice is at my guys so here you have the setup Told you, nigga. you think that's out here playing or what four pumps one poor corner and we're running a 10 battery setup essentially split here in the middle so it's two banks of five batteries so basically this is how the setup works for our rear pumps this is our rear here and this is the other rear so these are ran off of two batteries each so as you can see our main ground will be right here which is why it comes here and then that actually grounds to the frame of the vehicle but this battery I believe it's in series where you're running the positive to the negative correct me if I'm wrong but it's ran like that to be able to jump and double our voltage so as you can see this wire breaks off here and it goes down here to a 24 volt like solenoid pack so that can only be ran off of the two batteries so that's how that's ran our switch power also looks like it's running off of 24 volts so I mean that's not too bad and same for the other side we got another one of those 24 volt solenoid packs running off of the two batteries now with that being said we got all five of the batteries ran in series which is producing like 60 volts so this wire coming off here is building 60 volts brothers and it's coming down to these three solenoid combos or whatever you would call it exactly and those are running our front pumps which will be these two here now i'm not too sure on like the model of the gear the motor the the pump essentially like i don't really know any of that the dumps you know the slowdowns i mean quite honestly this slowdown just looks like a regular old ball valve brothers these two look like something that you would find like in your bathroom or something so i don't know if those are like 100 percent legit johns or not this one looks kind of legit honestly this one probably looks like the most legit but either way it's essentially just like a metering valve and uh so i mean as you can see you know it's got a little a little setup you know to be able to be running and stuff doesn't want to focus no more but yeah boys but one issue we are having is we leak brothers we leak quite a bit so as you can see like our fittings here we're just leaking a ton um out of the fill plugs here it also leaks out of there i don't know if that's normal or not but uh yeah i mean you can see like they all leak like the car desperately needs maintenance so yeah also another thing that i'd like to announce or whatever this battery whenever i got it was like switched this way so it was running in parallel making it only like 40 volts going to our solenoids instead of 60 like this side so my front passenger was going up kind of like slower damn look that looks sick you could just see all the patterns a little bit of bird shit right there disregard that but otherwise oh and then you got that vehicle right there too damn okay so either way i hit the front switch and i feel like it wasn't going up evenly brothers so that's not cool you know but we kind of got it i fixed that battery position you know and we're running 60 to both sides but i believe now that the actual switch you know like the switch itself this bad boy here the very first one i believe is malfunctioning because i've noticed if i hit the switch like a certain way at an angle or whatever you know like it'll juice one side up and not the other side but boy let me tell you she's a hot girl whenever both sides is hitting so we're gonna try to fix that and fix some of these leaks you know just really clean it up make it a nice functional car oh yeah boys and boys before i forget let's go ahead and talk about the reinforcements this old girl has so if we look in our rear arch as you can see like starting from right there she is reinforced there and it goes all the way over kind of hard to see but the reinforcement ends like down there and it also does have a bridge in it the cylinders are pretty good size I can't honestly tell you you can see them back here though so I mean they look like I don't know I want to say like 14s at least and coming up in the front we also have some reinforcement so this one the reinforcement starts like right there and it goes all the way across the spring pocket 
So it's kind of a little bit harder to see, but you can see it right there where it starts and it's all the way across the spring pocket, like I said. And underneath of the vehicle, you can see that bar right there. It's essentially like, uh, kind of like a connecting brace type deal. Cause that does not come factory on these vehicles. That's in order to like strengthen the chassis from side to side, essentially, like where the belly's at. Just because we are, you know, three wheel in this bad girl and stuff like that. So we want it to be strong, you heard me. And I also do believe the control arms are extended a little bit, as you can see. You know, it's got a little tuck when laid, nothing too major. I want to say maybe one inch extended, fully locked up. I feel like it does have a little bit of negative camber still. I'm not the biggest fan of that. But yeah, bros, got all this polished, the hinges, our spring right here, a little polished up, you know, some fanciness. But yeah, brother, sick street car, dude. And with all the oil also, I don't know if our alternator is not alternating or what, but it only has this one power wire that runs over to the positive. So it doesn't charge up very well right now. I believe it's doing something, but it might need, you know, like a, another signal wire to tell it to run. But I also think just with the amount of oil that's in here, the belt could just be slipping, you know, whenever it's actually trying to draw power. And because uh, the battery by itself was reading like 12.5 volts and with the car on it was like 12.9 Which still isn't the greatest, but it's a little bit higher. I don't know man, but look it's got chrome mirrors, dude. That speaks for itself So here's the whip my guys And like I said, it does need some work um, I've been clowning it. I bought it about a week ago So I've been clowning it a little bit myself having a little bit of fun, you know and um I went out, you know, tried to do some nasty threes or whatever, and the back of the car, like, stopped going up, like, full lock all the way up, and then, like, right after that, it, like, was a little bit less that it would do, and it sounded like it was, like, running out of steam, you know, and, uh, in the end, it just kind of, like, stopped going up altogether, so I'm hoping I just leaked out too much fluid, and I can just refill it, you know, bleed the line or whatever, and... We'll get it popping again, but I'm gonna try to fix some of these leaks, like I said, because these leaks are also like no good. Like, look at how major that is, dude. Like, it leaks really, really bad. So, we're gonna try to get all this stuff situated, my guys, and I guess go from there. So, wish me luck, boys, with the sick setup on the sick cutty dudes. All right, guys, so. Upon further investigation, um, I'm really hoping that the batteries are just low on charge. You know, like that's what we're hoping for. So, what I went ahead and did, boys, I mean, as you can see, I got the chargers on them. Just a couple of ghetto chargers, you know. Um, rocking these Viking charger from Harbor Freight is about $40. Got that recommended to me by Cadillac Dan over at the Cadillac Dan Show check that out on YouTube and um, yeah boys so like I said with this setup here I swapped the the motor leads so whenever I hit like the front switch it would be picking up the back so essentially let me break it down for y'all our main ground is here so 12 volts 24 36 48 60 right so that's the whole 60 is going to the front pumps but we're, as you can see, this wire here that breaks off is at the second battery, 24 volts, which is also our power going to our switches. But these two batteries and these two batteries are the 24 volts going to the rear pumps. And I'm assuming they were just running out of juice, boys. And that's why it just slowly stopped picking up the rear. It has always pretty much been like, I don't, I don't want to say like slow or not powerful. But on this car, being that it's got four pumps, if you try to just lift one rear, it only goes up maybe like halfway and then just runs out of power. So hopefully this will fix our issue, boys, and get us real hot on the switch. So other than that, I think I'm gonna end it here, brothers. Oh yeah, and by the way, I got these Everstart battery chargers, Everstart Max. Those are from Walmart about 20 bucks a piece so it's essentially like half the cost so we'll see how they measure up against the $40 Harbor Freight charger 
But uh, hopefully I get enough. If I get at least two more of these ever starts, then I can charge a whole bank at one time and then just have to charge the other one, you know, like another day. Cause it's essentially gonna take like a whole day, I believe. I had put this Viking charger on this battery originally and I left it for maybe like six hours. I came back in the morning and then I put it on this battery and this also didn't fully charge either, but I went to work, you know, so that's essentially like 12 hours. So they were pretty dead, I'm assuming. They still read like 12.8 volts, you know, with my multimeter, but I guess that don't really matter considering they didn't have no amperage, you know, the cranking amps or whatever. And that's what we need to juice me up because I was hella lost, boys. I thought maybe like bent cylinder, bad solenoids or who knows you know bad motor going bad somebody said like maybe i had a, a dump that got stuck but look at the solenoid packs here let me get a light in here for you look at the solenoid packs that i'm running on the rear here so that's what those look like essentially that's like a 24 volt the rears or i mean the fronts are acumax solenoids three for each pump and then I suppose these would be like, I don't know, but pretty big solenoid of some sort. So that's cool. And uh, hopefully next time, boys, we'll get her jumping. You know what I mean? I believe it'll hop, honestly. If the, the switch has been, you know, it's been tame. I can control her. But uh, I have tried to sauce it a little bit. But let me show you guys also something that's kind of been irking me. So here we are inside of our cuddy and uh, this is our front switch right so if you pay attention it's got a whole gang of wires on it so I'm assuming that like these top wires here are the power wires to the two front pumps and then the 12 volt is shared from either side oops I dropped it and then the bottom one is a single wire dump that will send 24 volts to the both dumps that's the way they have it wired so i think i'm going to go ahead and redo this um because this switch i feel like you know you see how it has like a side to side play well if you hit the switch like say i'm trying to go like up right obviously if you have it like twisted one way or the other it'll lift the front unevenly like you can literally feel it like just hitting one instead of you know zooting up both of the motors so i want to redo that hopefully i can put it like with this switch this one seems pretty healthy and it's only got three so i can run 24 volts in the middle both front pumps to the top and then the single dump that goes to both front dumps on the bottom that is the idea and being that we have six switches here i don't know if i'm going to downsize it to four boys because really that's all i need i'm not a big side to side fan you know but if we can get the front working properly to where it's even every time you hit it up, you know what I mean? Then we'll be golden. We'll have a front, a rear, and then individual up and down on both rears, you know, for that three wheel action, brothers. But like I said, my boys, thanks for tuning into the channel. I know I've been slacking it. Um, just been trying to get this car sorted out. Still got a gang of issues, you know what I mean? But we out here low riding now, They're actually putting the 13s to the concrete, you know, like I'm gonna put a little clip right here. This is whenever I first bought it, essentially. Like I handed the man the cash and me and my brother Adrian rolled to Whataburger and I was banging threes, trying to anyways, you know, we smacking. But either way, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Deuce.